South Dakota of the Black Hills, and this is freaking amazing, man. Like, the trees give such a radiant vibe. Like, I feel like my heart chakra is like, bam, 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 bam. Tatiana, you are so, this is what you used to be like indoors with your dad. And then you went and climbed with Casey, and you were like doing everything, jumping off like you're. Help me! My arm is Casey! Just jump, just jump. Come down and jump. <laughs> This is how you put on the corner. I'll buy ice cream if you jump. Yeah. One, <laughs> like, really? Two, three, jump. You gotta <laughs> jump though. Jump, jump, jump. 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 Thank you. Yeah, that's a girl. Right. Now you're straight on. Do that again now. Yeah. Okay, let me tell you, parents, if you have a type three child, I feel your pain. Gabby insists on leading these hard things, and it's so cool because she puts us up on these rad climbs, but at the same time. She just led this that I top roped after her, and I don't know how she did it. And then she thought about doing it twice because she had to sit and didn't send it. Like, it's just crazy. I don't know. You type threes, I bow to you. Okay, so learn from my mistake. When you get to a new climbing area, buy the guidebook. I never do. And the first few days we went in Spearfish Canyon to Sunshine Wall, it was so easy to find that I figured, oh, we don't need it. We'll be good. Well, the Mohican Wall is so big you totally need it we've been wandering around like idiots for 30 minutes and i made victor sweat way too much he's not happy about the sweating factor right what are you now. talking about <laughs> Of the downhill section but it's this nice gravel trail 
and Isabel, Gabby, and I are going to downhill a section and then go, so fun. <laughs> go into the Black Hills and go camping. of the presidents, I think today. Anyway, we're trying to decide for who's the best looking one. I think George Washington is because he's got a collar. Like, Abe Lincoln doesn't <laughs> get that good. He looks dead. But, uh, ridiculous. There's a freaking... There's a sign. Let me see this. Sign. There's a pamphlet. There's pamphlets for climbing. It's pretty amazing. And there's like a established sign with like the map for climbing. Amazing. Little cord, little cold this morning. It's oh, since he was not a teenager, and uh, we got a, Isabel let this beautiful five five here, and I just asked him, "Hey, Danny, your turn." And he got it, and he got his harness on, got my shoes on, and he's about to top this thing out. It'll be super exciting for the whole family, and everyone's done a really good job of just letting him do his thing. But uh, this is a very good example. Danny has some severe issues with heights. Um, in some ways more than me, in some ways less than me, because I push myself routinely. So, but he's about to top this thing out. Are you trying to slack line? <laughs> Okay, Isabel needs to do it. Why are you like, 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 it just not look good. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're here in the middle of the woods. I don't Grab think it looks good, Mike. It doesn't look really good. He's making fun of me over here with the <laughs> Australian accent. You're not making fun of my Australian accent. I'm Back saying, to the point. Oh the point oh is, we have no shelter and we're out of food. And there's a huge <laughs> storm cloud above us. Now we gotta go find shelter back in the mine below and we might eat Tati because she doesn't know that yet. <laughs> My favorite so far, Pactola. That was amazing views. So today we're at Sylvan Lake and we are hiking Black Elk Trail, which is the highest peak east of the Rockies. It's also the highest peak in South Dakota. I don't know how that works. What? It's like, I think east I read the east of the Rockies, the highest peak. That part might not be true. We're gonna look that up, but I thought I read that. Anyways, this is going to be um, an interesting hike because we're all hiking as a family and there's all these branches and of course we're going to want to do all like 12 miles of it. I don't know if they're going to last so we might have to uh, turn back at some point. But it's funny, it's Memorial Day weekend and it's packed. It feels like all of South Dakota comes to Silicon Lake for the weekend. So it's kind of interesting because we haven't seen many people and then all of a sudden there's just tons and tons of people. It almost feels like in San Diego and Memorial Day weekend where it's like parking lots are packed and then except for that weekend and Labor Day weekend like there's nobody at the beach in Spotted 
a downy in the wild. The trademark features of the blue jacket and its companion in the orb green jacket next to it. This is a very rare sight. They tend to stay near their computers and in the indoors. We've been spotted. We better run. What if it tries to kiss me? Should I roll up the window? <laughs> What are we doing? We're going to some of that corn. Where are we going? I have no idea. What are we doing though right now? Eating corn. And? Hiking. Yep, hiking with some corn. This is our second day at Sylvan Lake, and I think Sylvan Lake's my favorite part. I like the canyon of Spearfish with the climbing, but this is so pretty and such unique hikes. This one was Sunday Gulch, and you like to walk through the rocks, and it's like you're basically walking with the waterfall. It was really cool. I highly, highly recommend this one. Now, Black Peak with Black Elf Peak was cool, but this one was really unique. All right, so we're in Grace Coolidge, and one of the awesome things about this above us, above this, up there in the rock, you can kind of see, hopefully, there are four baby little owlets. And, oh, you can see it flying up there. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah, you know, when we're, when, you're, when we're out here and we're camping, one of the most amazing things is when we get to see wildlife. Um, uh, we, we saw a buffalo today, a male buffalo right in our campground. Uh, last night we saw a great horned owl. I think it might be, let me see it, might be their mom. Um, we saw them, but right now this is happening in front of us. In the back on the cliffs up here, four pronghorn sheep. And this is right, right here from our campground. This is amazing. Discovery Channel, for real, right, Tati? Yeah. Yeah. And also, Planet they're so Earth. cute. They're all little siblings. It's like five prongs. Back in the canyon. Back. Spirit Back. The canyon. Back. Yes. Yes. Dakota is, it was amazing because we had such a great time in Wyoming and Montana, but man, once you cross that border, it's just, it's European-esque. It's so green and like the dark trees with the meadows. It's so much gorgeous. Like, it's like American Germany. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Too bad there's no brats and German beer on tap. <laughs> But that's okay. But there's lots of cows everywhere. So we have Victor with us this time again. We decided to uh, detox him from city life by taking him up this amazing trail that had stinging nettles all over it. Yeah, it was and so fun. I think he only fell like three times. And you know what's funny? So when you have a climbing approach, it tells you kind of like how long it is. But we have like uh, in climbers time. So the we book is all like, this is our first book. book. But the book is like, oh yeah, it's a 15 minute approach. It took us like 30 minutes. Climbers time there approach were trees falling over is stuff way over faster than this. We're, we're doubling. Like, we're climbers, climbers. like It's because they climb so slow. They walk really fast. It's not funny. Robin! Mom! Dude, she's not here. She's falling over. Hashtag Patreon! <laughs> not in front of me, man. <laughs> Well, oh, I'm the fall, I'm the other angle. Get a new angle. Stay where you are. You're great. <laughs> <laughs>